Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can modify multiple transitions in one go. So, this is useful if you have settings that you'd like to use, for instance, something like the dissolve transition. Perhaps you're changing the easing value, and perhaps you have the same value you want to start with on all your transitions, or perhaps you want to change the duration of all your transitions all in one go. So, first of all, we're going to select all our clips in the middle here, and I'm going to use the shortcut to add my default transition, which is Command and T which will add the cross dissolve transition. So you can see here when I play this through now, they all have the cross dissolve applied to them. Now I wanna select all of these in one go. And there's really two ways of doing this. One is that I can click on each transition individually and kind of move through and select them all. And then the other is that if I just click in the gray space to deselect those, I can come to my index across on the left here. I can search for the cross dissolve. We know that all of these are across dissolve. So I'm going to type in CRO and quite quickly you'll see that all the cross dissolves pop up. So I can hold down shift to select all of those. Now they're not activated on the timeline yet until I actually move back to the timeline. I need to just kind of position my playhead there so that they all are highlighted yellow. Now once that's done I can come up to my cross dissolve amount and I can change the easing and that will change the easing for all of them. They're all the same transition. I can change whether I want it to ease in or ease out. And I can also change things like the look of it. So whether I want highlights or whether I want additive or any other of these. And what you'll see is that when you then click away, if I click through each of these, they all retain those same values that I've added when I've kind of done that change on mass to all my transitions. Now, the other thing I mentioned was that if we want to, we can change the duration of all of these transitions in one go. So if I hold down shift again and select all of these, again, move back to the timeline, I can use the shortcut control and D. So I'm going to tap D there and the duration field in the middle here will be highlighted. So if I want all of these to be two seconds and 15 frames, I can type in two period 15 and hit enter and that will change them all to the same duration. So now you can see if I highlight this one clip, it is two seconds and 15 frames long. So we're able to control either the properties of the same transition type on the timeline by selecting them all in this way using the index or changing things like the duration as well. So again, highlighting that, control and D, and then I'll type in one period one seven. That will make them all one second and 17 frames long. So you've got a nice level of control over your transitions, over the properties of your transitions, by using the index to search for different properties. Hopefully this is useful. If you have any questions about editing transitions or other edits on the timeline, things where you're struggling to kind of make things move or manipulate things in the way that you want to, then please do leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.